In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw this capsule with a watermelon juice inside. Before you start, make sure to download the color palette and that you have all my free brushes. And if you'll have fun with me and would like to get more step-by-step -step tutorials like this, make sure to check out my Patreon. I add their new video every week and I'm going to teach you new styles and techniques. Link is in the description. So with all that being said, grab your drawing tools, relax and let's start. Let's make a new canvas, a for canvas from Procreate. And first we can add here the color for the background. So let's open the color palette and take color number 11. Drag and drop it in here. And now on a new layer we can draw the outline for the capsule. So let's make a new layer. Let's pick the color for the outline. Take color number 1. And let's pick a brush. Let's go to Calligraphy and take Monoline Brush. Let's make the brush size 20. And we are going to draw a circle. So draw it like that. Hold your pencil on the screen. And now you can put your finger here to make this a perfect circle. Let's make it quite big, about this size. Okay, now we are going to duplicate this circle and put it below. So to do that, we can swipe on this layer to the left and now pick Duplicate. Let's take the arrow tool to move it down. Over here at the bottom, pick Uniform option and make sure you have Snapping turned on. This way you can move it down like that and it will stay in the same position as the other one. Let's move it about this much. Okay. And then tap here to finish this. Now on the new layer, we are going to draw the lines that will connect here those two circles. So let's make a new layer for this. And now draw a line. Hold the pencil on the screen to make this a straight line. You can put your finger on the screen to make this vertical. So make it like that. And now you can tap here and still edit the points if you have to. You can zoom in here so you will see that you can create here a nice connection between the line and the circle. Okay. When you finish, tap with your finger on the screen. Now let's draw the same line on the other side. Okay, and adjust it if you have to. You can also move this line like that. Okay, so now we have it like that. Now we have to erase here those circle parts in the middle of the capsule. So for this, let's go back to the layer with the circle, this one. We can take the eraser, let's tap on it again, and we can set it with the same brush. So calligraphy and modeling brush. Let's make the brush size 100 and just erase this like that. Just be careful here where you erase where the line meets the circle. Make here a nice connection. Now let's go back to the other layer with the first circle, this one, and also erase here this line. Okay, so the base shape for our capsule is ready. We need to have this on one layer now. So to do it, we can just pinch all of those layers here, the three layers together like this. Okay. 
Before we add here an ellipse that goes through the middle of this, let's duplicate it. So swipe on this layer to the left and pick duplicate. And we can take the layer that is underneath and we're going to make it smaller. So let's take the arrow tool. And first with the uniform option, we can make it smaller. Just like that. Okay. But now you can see that the distance on the edges over here on the left and right side is bigger than the one from the bottom and the top one. We can fix it by changing this here to the free from option. And now we can just pull here the bottom part like that and the top part like this. Okay. So now more or less the distance between those two shapes is the same. Let's tap here to finish this. And now we can go back to the first capsule shape and draw an ellipse in the middle of it. So let's go to the top layer. We can make a new layer on top of this one. And we can draw the ellipse. Take the brush and draw an ellipse like this. Hold the pencil on the screen. And now you can put your finger here to make this horizontal. So try to make the size fit the capsule shape. And now you can tap here and still edit it. Make sure that this would be a perfect shape. So if you have to, you can adjust some points to make it connect here nicely. And try to place it here in the middle of that capsule. Okay, when you're happy with this, tap with your finger on the screen. And now we can connect here this ellipse with the bigger capsule shape. So pinch those two layers together like that. So now we have this shape and this one. Let's rotate it now. So to do it, we need to select both of those layers. We can swipe on this one to the right. And now take arrow tool. And just rotate it here by this green point. So rotate it like that. And if you want, you can also move it on the canvas. Tap here to finish this. And now we can draw here the ellipse horizontally for that capsule that is inside, the liquid part. So let's go to this layer over here. Let's make a new layer on top. And let's draw the ellipse. So draw it somewhere over here. Hold your pencil on the screen. Put your finger to make this horizontal. And try to make it a good size. And now you can tap here and just adjust it very lightly if you have to. Okay. Tap with your finger on the screen when you finish. So now we have to erase here this top part of the capsule that is inside. So let's go to this layer over here. Take the eraser. And just erase this here like that. Okay, let's merge those layers together, these two over here. And our outlines are ready. Now we can start coloring this. We can color first the big capsule, the inside of it. So let's go to the layer of that big capsule over here. We have to select the inside of this. So to do it, let's take the selection tool. At the bottom over here, pick automatic. We can turn off the color fill and just tap here on the outside of the shape, like that. Hold the pencil on the screen and you can swipe it to the left or right to adjust the selection threshold. Let's make it a large number. And now we have the outside selected. To select the inside, we just have to tap here on invert. With this selected, we can make a new layer over here. Put it under that capsule shape. And now we have to fill it with the color. Let's pick the color. Take color number nine. And you can just drag and drop it in here. Okay. Let's stop here to finish this. Now to see the capsule that is inside, we have to turn down the opacity of this. So let's stop here. And 
let's make it here about 20%. Okay. So now we can color the inside of the capsule. Here we can do it a little bit different. Let's go to the layer of the shape of it. Let's tap on it and set it as reference. Now we can make a new layer and put it under that reference layer. And we can just drag and drop the color into the shapes that this layer has. So let's take color number two and just drag and drop it in here. We are going to add here gradient in a moment. First, we can also color here this top ellipse. Let's make a new layer for this. And for this, we can change the color to color number eight. Drop it into here. Okay. So first, let's add the gradient to that green part. Let's go over here. And to color now only inside of this shape, we have to set it as alpha lock. So let's tap here and pick alpha lock. And now we can add here different colors. Let's start with color number three. And we want to add this here in the stripes that later we are going to blur. To do it easily and evenly, we can take the selection tool. Let's take it. Now at the bottom over here, let's pick rectangle and turn on color fill. Let's select now rectangle over here like that. And we have now this color over here. Let's stop here to finish this. And let's take another color. Let's take color number four. Take the selection tool again. And now you can select your rectangle like that. Make sure that your colors here will be overlapping. Let's stop here to finish this. And let's take the last color of the greens, color number five. Let's take the selection tool and maybe we can select your rectangle like that. Okay, tap here to finish this. Now we can move on to the red colors. Let's take color number six, take the selection tool and select it over here like that. Tap here to finish this. Let's take next color, color number seven. Take the selection tool. We can now select your bigger one, like this. Tap here to finish this. And now this one we can color with color number eight. Take the selection tool and just select it like this. Okay, tap here to finish this. Let's blend those colors together now. So to do it easily, we can go to the adjustments and take Gaussian Blur. Swipe your pencil on the screen to the blur size. And let's make this here maybe 36%. Okay, tap here to finish this. Now let's add here a little bit of gradient to this top part. So let's go to this layer over here. Let's also set it as alpha lock. And now we can change the color. Let's take color number six. Over here we can just draw this with the brush. Let's make the brush size 100% and draw here a shape like that following that ellipse shape. So hold your pencil on the screen here to make this a nice shape, nice line. Okay, now let's take another color, color number seven and draw a line a little bit above this like that. Okay. And now we can blend those colors together. So let's go to the adjustments, take Gaussian Blur, and we can add here blur size. Let's make it 16%. Okay. Now we are going to draw here some seeds. Let's open the layers. First, we're going to turn off the reference on this layer. So let's tap here and turn off the reference. And now we can make a new layer on top of this ellipse shape over here. Let's change the color. Take color number 10 and let's make the brush size small for this. Let's make it 2% and we can draw some seeds. Draw them in that red part like that. If you find that your lines are shaky over here, you can adjust a setting. Let's go to the actions menu, preferences, pressure and smoothing, and you can make your stabilization a higher number. I will make it about 50% and 
and now my lines should be less shaky. So let's draw here some seeds. We can draw one maybe over here also under the ellipse. And now let's take a small break and I would like to ask you to write a comment, I can draw this. It would mean a lot to me, I would know that you enjoyed this video and I could see who is watching me. So thank you for doing that. And now let's go back to drawing. Okay, I think this will be enough for me. So we can color this inside. Drag and drop the color into one. And you can tap on continue filling here. And then tap on the other shapes. Okay, when you finish just tap over here. We can add a little bit of magic now into this whole liquid. Let's add here some small sprinkles. We want to draw them only inside of those colored shapes. So first we have to select this area. Let's go to this layer over here, the outline of the smaller capsule shape. And we can take the selection tool to select the inside of this. So first let's turn off color fill. Click here automatic. Tap on the outside and now tap here on invert. With this selected, we can open the layers. We can make a new layer underneath the outlines over here. And we can change the color. Let's take color number 12. And let's pick a brush to draw the sprinkles. Maybe for this, we can just go to my Shakula freebies brushes and take your stars. With the brush size 6. We can just add them here like that. Let's stop here to finish this. And we can change the blending mode of this layer. Let's set it to add and turn down the opacity. This way they can shine a little bit more. I will make the opacity here 63. Now we can start adding here some light and shadows. We are going to do it on top of the outlines because I want the outlines to be also affected by this. So let's make a new layer on top of this. And let's start here maybe with the lights. Let's change this bending mode to add. And with the white color over here, we can take the brush, the calligraphy monoline brush, and we can just draw here some lights. Let's start with the brush size 100%. And we can draw here some lights like this. I like to draw them here as a blobby shapes like this. You can make your lines straight. So just hold your pencil on the screen. But you don't have to, of course. You can make them as you like. So I like to do like this. And now blobby shape over here. Now let's do the same here on this side. A blobby shape. And then a line following here the shape of the capsule like this. Now maybe a line over here. And now let's make the brush size smaller, maybe 35. And we can add some light in this ellipse shape. Maybe like that. Now over here. And still over here. Okay, and now a big light. Let's draw here a line along this ellipse shape. So like that, hold your pencil on the screen. And now you can tap here and edit the points. And then let's take it up over here. And draw here a shape like this. Now we can color this shape inside. And if you have to, you can fix your shape with the eraser. I have to just change this over here a little bit to make this nicer. Okay, so my lights will be like this. We can turn down the opacity of this now. So this way we can see through those lights like that. My opacity over here will be 31%. Now let's add here some shadows. Let's make a new layer for this. And for the shadows, we can set this to overlay. 
we are going to have here two colors for the shadows. One for the green part and one for the rest. Let's start here with the green part. So let's change the color. Take color number 13. And over here we can just follow the shape of the capsule and draw a blobby shape like that. So like this. And color this inside. We can turn down the opacity of this. Let's make it here about 35%. Okay. For the other colors we can make a new layer. Set it as overlay. And let's change the color now. Take color number 14. So first I'm going to add the shadow over here on the top part. I'm going to add it like that. Just the shape in this way. Maybe we can take it here on this outline line too. Make it look more interesting. So a shape like that. And now a shadow here on the right side. Let's draw a line here like that. So take it a little bit outside of the inside capsule shape. Okay. And now let's draw a shape over here like this. And take it over here this way. Let's color this inside. And we can maybe still add here some shadow over here this way just to make it more interesting. Now let's turn down the opacity of this. I will make it 44%. Maybe to make it even more interesting we can add here now some small shadows on those seeds. So just like that. Let's draw here around them. On the bottom and right side. I think this is nicer when there is something more going on in here. Okay, now we can start just the opacity of this white shape that filled the big capsule. So we can make it maybe less visible or more, depending on what you like. You can also change here the different blending modes. Maybe I like here this as an add. It makes it a bit more brighter. Yes, I think I like it here as an add. It makes it more brighter and vibrant, like I said. So I'm going to make here the opacity 11%. Okay, so now in the end I'd like to add here some small stars and dots around this shape. For this let's make a new layer on top of everything. We can take white color, color number 12. And we can just stamp here some dots maybe first. Let's take the brush. Let's go to my Shakula freebies brushes and we can take here this dots brush. Let's start here with the brush size 2% and just stamp here some dots around. You can also add the dots on the capsule. Okay. Now bigger brush size, maybe 5%. We can add a few of them. And now let's add here some stars. So I have here my brush stamp set that I'm going to use. If you don't have it, you can just hand draw the stars or maybe you have them from some other set. So I'm going to pick here pointed star. With the brush size 8, I'm going to add two of them. And now maybe bigger size 12. I'll add one over here at the bottom. And now let's change this to pointed star field. 
With the brush size 4 we can add fill. And now bigger size of this, 9%. I'll just add a few of them too. So like that. And also I like to use here this one, mini cross. I'm going to use your brush size 8 and just add a few of them. And now bigger brush size, 18. Maybe just one over here. And now one more size, 11. I will add it over here. Okay, and now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can share your drawing with me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And if you'd like to draw more of me, make sure to check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!